Hello YouTube friends and welcome back to the Millionaire House. In today's video, I am still on my quest for household organization and I'm inviting you along as I organize my laundry room space. As you can see here, there was no rhyme or reason to how I stored our cleaning supplies or our hurricane supplies. Pet supplies were mixed in with cleaning towels. It was just a mess. But by adding a couple of very affordable storage solutions, Everything now has its designated space and all of the cleaning supplies are now in one space, which is going to save time and money. And I even added a creative way to store all of our batteries. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I have declared 2019 as the year of organization, but we also have something pretty cool happening here, actually in the next couple of days, which is that we are adding a new fur baby to our family. I am over the moon in love with this little puppy already, and we just thought it would be a great time to um, introduce another family member uh, with the kids and really make this a family affair. So that being said, the next space I'm gonna organize is actually a really bad situation I have going on in the laundry room. <laughs> so um, I mentioned in the first video, organization's never been my strong suit. So I'm really taking my time and doing um, what makes sense. And so right now that space is just a bunch of everything and I need a dedicated space for all of the, um, the dogs things. I wanted to show you guys this bowl too. Isn't this adorable? It's a little Frenchie and that's what we're getting. Um, got this from at home in case you're wondering and I found these really cute little canisters there this is completely off subject but um, I wanted to share them with you because they're so cute I had no idea at home had pet supplies and we have a new one in Tampa so anyway back to organizing um, I'm gonna show you what I have going on in there you guys most of you already know my sweet friend Denise that be my guest with Denise but she's got just some really great ideas for organizing. Um, I don't personally have to have everything look pretty as I'm organizing, it helps, but for me, it's gotta be super practical. So I'm gonna show you what I have going on and I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do and hopefully you'll get some ideas for your home as well. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you into our laundry room. Um, it's, it's a galley laundry room, so uh, it's just very long, but I've got a lot of cabinet space down here that um, we have used for, I've got paint supplies in here, I've got cleaning supplies in here. There's no rhyme or reason to it. So what I'm going to do is clean it up, get rid of some of the things that we don't need anymore and actually designate um, space for the dogs and for my cleaning supplies and whatever else we've got under here. So uh, let's take a look. Here's a before shot of the cabinet space that I think would be perfect for all of our pet supplies. Um, I was storing some pet medicine in there and some extra dog bowls and mostly spray paint and plastic bags. I have no idea why I thought this would be a great place to store spray paint when it should really be outside, but uh, I also didn't have any rhyme or reason to all the pet supplies. Everything was just kind of thrown in together. And the same thing happened under the center cabinet. All of my cleaning supplies were mixed in with vases and paint supplies. It was just really a pretty big mess. And the last cabinet I designated for hurricane supplies like flashlights and batteries, but still no rhyme or reason. So I started by emptying out all the drawers and cabinets and putting like items together that I knew I wanted to keep in the laundry room, like our extra charging cords and definitely all the batteries and left them grouped all in the same place. I went through and purged the cleaning supply cabinet and got rid of empty bottles and pulled all of the other cleaning supplies that were in different parts of the house together so that I could store them all in the same place. And then of course I gave everything a nice wipe down. And next I went to Walmart and grabbed this under the sink storage unit and a couple of the 
fridge bins that you saw me use in the fridge organization video, the clear ones. Okay, so now I have everything cleaned out. I took my jacket off because it's getting really hot, but I'm just deciding what should stay under the sink. This is really like where I keep my cleaning supplies that I don't want used in the kitchen. So what's gonna be used in the bathroom or on the floors stays in here. So backyard bug control doesn't really need to be in here. It needs to be outside. So I'm just organizing products that I want to stay and things that we're gonna get rid of. I grabbed a customizable utility box in the sewing section at Walmart for all of the batteries, as well as a small wire tray to organize all of our extra charging cords so that they could all be in the same place. And I used one of the clear French bins that you can find at TJ Maxx or Walmart to store our microfiber cloths and cleaning cloths. I moved all the spray paint into the garage and grouped everything for the pets together in clear plastic bins that I labeled with alphabet stickers. The under the sink storage unit that I showed you earlier turned out to be a game changer. It freed up a lot of space and I also added the clear bins into this cabinet as well so that all of my floor cleaning products were together in one place and all of the girls' hair, shampoos, and conditioners were all in one place because I used this sink to wash their hair. And now I can clearly see how many cleaning supplies I have and what I need to go out and repurchase. And take a look at all of the space that I freed up just by removing things out of this cabinet that didn't belong. So now they're just flashlights, lighters, things that we would need in an emergency, and the batteries and extra cords are located right above it. So by adding just a couple of storage containers, I really changed the game underneath the sink. And now I'm ready to do the same thing in the cabinets above the washer and dryer. Okay, I'm smiling because I am done. And that honestly wasn't even as bad as I thought it was going to be. Everything has a place now. There's a doggy care cabinet. There, um, there's a cleaning cabinet now for all the cleaning supplies. And there's like a hurricane preparedness um, area that's now been cleaned out and there's more space. So hope you guys got some great ideas from uh, this presentation and let me know in the comments below if there is anything else you can think of that you'd like to see included in the next organizational video. And I'll see you back here again very soon. Until next time, love and peace.